Hi everyone, Elliot Jacobson here, and today I'm going to demonstrate a brand new piece of software that I've written called the Statistical Baccarat Analyzer. And essentially what this is, is a Excel spreadsheet that has macros in it that allows you in real time to be able to compute the house edge or possibly the player edge on a number of standard Baccarat bets. There's nothing like this that is available for free as far as I can tell. Um, so this is going to be the first of its kind. I'm surprised by that. It was actually pretty trivial to write this uh, spreadsheet. It took me about four hours. I did this work yesterday. So I'm going to give this thing away for free. Um, have a look at it. And if you want to get a copy of this, I'll tell you how later in this video. All right, so let's go have a look. And so this is what the spreadsheet looks like. What we have here is... Um, a spreadsheet that's keeping track of the number of cards of each rank in a shoe. And here is the number of decks. You might just start by punching in the number of decks corresponding to whatever game you want to analyze and hit reset shoe and that will reset the number of cards back to 32 so you have a fresh shoe. And what we see under results here are simply all the different edges corresponding to um, uh, to this configuration of the, the cards in the shoe. So we have the player, we have the banker with a standard 5% commission, the banker where a winning banker six pays one to two, this is a standard non-commission variant, the Baccarat available in many places in Asia. We have the tie bet paying eight to one, the tie bet paying nine to one, the pair side bet, and this is, it doesn't matter whether it's a player or a banker, it'll have the same house edge. And then the standard Dragon 7 side bet, which is wagering on a three card um, Banker 7 being a winning hand, it pays 40 to 1. So the way you use this thing is you should always start by resetting the shoe and click Compute All just to get a, a fresh configuration. And then as you see cards come out, you notice each time we click one of these buttons, the corresponding number below decreases by one. So after you see a few cards come out, you need to click Compute All to run the macro to recompute these edges. These are actually the combinatorial edge. This is not a simulation. This is the exact house edge for these, uh, this configuration of the shoe. And we can see that as various cards come out, that edge changes. So one of the things we could do with this spreadsheet, for example, is we could double check um, any claims that we might hear from someone about a shoe rich in this or that card being favorable for some wager. So some people might say, hey, if the shoe is rich in sevens, eights, and nines, then that favors the player or the banker. So you could lower these numbers right here. By the way, you can type in um, whatever number you want to these cells. So let's just type seven, eight, nines and make a shoe rich in seven, eight, nines and see what that gives us as far as the house edge. Again, we click compute all and you notice even a shoe rich in those three cards, doesn't give any edge to the player or the banker of any type. In fact, there is still no edge um, of any type uh, available with this. So people make these claims and for the most part, they are not true and this allows you to check those. Another thing you could do with this spreadsheet is you could actually develop a counting system. If you know how counting systems work, what you do is you start with a fresh shoe and you record the house edge. Then one at a time, you take one card of a specific rank out of the shoe and you recompute the edges. And the difference between those two edges is called the effect of removal for that card. And if you know all the effects of removal, that allows you to, to create a counting system. I'm not gonna go into the details right now. Another thing that you could do is you can explore um, what happens towards the end of the shoe. So let me just take these numbers down here to very small um, numbers and let's just try like this. And what we notice here with these house edges um, let's look at this pair. We see that the pair has a player edge. By the way, if that number is positive, it's a player edge. If it's negative, it's a house edge. This actually has a positive edge for the person who's playing against this. And the reason is that I left these sevens here at 32. 
So you're playing with a lot of sevens. And this gives some sense that the pair bet is exploitable towards the end of a shoe. Um, and that computation is part of what this sheet allows you to do. So yes, you could track a player um, that you suspect of using certain strategies to see whether they're actually making wagers when they have the edge or they're just making random wagers with any variety of house edge. So it does have some functionality. Again, let me just stress, I am not warranting this for any purpose outside of just fun. Great. Now, here's the issue. Um, this piece of software is available and um, you can get a copy, but at this moment, and it may change at this moment, I can't upload this to my website, advancedadvantageplay.com. The reason is that GoDaddy does not allow any files of the type XLSM, a macro spreadsheet, to be um, downloadable. And the reason is because macro spreadsheets sometimes have viruses in them. So it's really for um, the protection of the people who might be downloading these things to not allow me to upload this. So if you want to get a copy of this spreadsheet, then here's what you've got to do. You've got to go to my website, advancedadvantageplay.com. You've got to go to the contact tab on my website. And you have to get my email and you have to send me an email. So go ahead, send me an email, say, I would like a copy of your um, statistical Baccarat Analyzer spreadsheet and I will send that to you. And you are welcome to send that along to anyone else you want. This is free. There's absolutely no charge, no obligation. I am giving this thing away. I just don't know how to make it available on my website yet. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure that out. Okay, so that is what we've got going here today. Um, let me just say, if you have any suggestions for improvement, please let me know. Um, if you would like to suggest a change to the layout, if you have other side bets you want included, anything you think would be a good addition to this spreadsheet, um, let me know. I am certainly open to your suggestions. I don't claim that this is a done deal of any type. Great. So I hope that you download a copy of this or email a copy, depending on where I am in that process, and uh, enjoy using this spreadsheet. All right, everyone. Elliot Jacobson. See you later.